So, uh, good night tonight, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was nice not to have to be thinking about last second plays in the last couple of weeks. Uh, not having timeouts and fouls and all that. It's nice to just see everybody have fun tonight. We were good. Let's start to finish. It's going to be a great time. And I thought one thing she was going to be a great time. It got a little bit stunned at the end of the time. Once you played there, you didn't practice as much. Just a lot of love and see and experiment. So that's a good game to get everybody. Just Natasha, 11 points in the first quarter. Uh, you know, finished with 18. What did you make of her performance tonight? Not, not necessarily sharing the ball like she always does, but. Well, she was trying, but they were, you know, they were doubling uh, Elena when she got in the lane. Now, before that, uh, they were switching out, and then they did, you know, when she and Elena were picking rolls, uh, they didn't want to you know, much, so she got a chance to. In the corner, if they went under, she step by and then made three. So that's a big confidence building for her and us. But I think it all started with our defense over there. And I just thought that you know, we set a tone and didn't let that kid make any easy looks. Was it as simple as shots went down tonight? Was there anything different? Or? Um, I mean, it helps when you can get out and run early and get you know, more open looks. Um, ball moved. Like we, you know, in the last couple of games, it started to have a piece to it. Uh, really trying to get the ball across half court quickly, uh, get us going. And so, you know, uh, this is itself and how we can just, you know, kind of fix it today. And Shakira, earlier this year, or coming into the year, you were saying whoever you took with the pick wouldn't necessarily be a huge factor in how the team makeup would be and how you would strive for it. To myself, too. Um, you know, I mean, we didn't know. Uh, you know. We had kind of different lineups in our mind at the start. Uh, we shared the language together some. Uh, Elizabeth, you know, and, and Elizabeth and Maisha, and Andrew wasn't playing. But Elizabeth was late, and Maisha was banged up and we had all these different things going on and it just kind of worked out that way. And so, you know, Mike just started in the latest place and Shakira started in the other spot and Shakira proved that she needed to be out there. And so, you know, here we are. How important is she to what you guys are striving to do, especially on the defensive yeah, end of what she's been able to do? a lot of defensively that we have two post players with three because you can count Elena four or more chops and we defend them with Elena. Her most unsung part of it is her shot blocking, but Shakira, people have stopped even going at her a little bit right now just because they know she's going to be there. Her shot blocks have gone down, but her change shots factor has gone up. And I think that, you know, that's from a reputation of how she started the season in Mexico. How'd you like that uh, Rui corner three? It was awesome. Uh, good for her confidence. Uh, when you're struggling shooting the ball, you just need to see a couple go through. And uh, I think that uh, the play that she made at uh, the end of the one quarter going to the basket, and then you know, that just that makes you feel better. She was able to get us out and running and see open people. Uh, that's really good. Building off of that, the uh, bench's reaction to that three. What can you say about that? <laughs> well, mainly, I mean, you know, that's what a good team is. I mean, you're you're rooting for your teammates, and they know she's been struggling. Uh, she did, and you know. They're, they're, they're telling her every day, hey, you just got to keep shooting. It'll start going in. She comes in and does the work. And that tells you how much they love each other out there. And we talked a little pregame about Ryan Howard and containing her. How do you evaluate the defense stuff for not her and Chris Taylor? Well, I mean, she probably didn't have a fun night. Um, Alicia and Tosh and Ariel make them stuff for a lot of guys. And uh, you know, we're pretty locked into playing her. and. Like I said uh, before the game, we came in a one good quarter, and hopefully that'll continue for one more game too. How about a, how about Avina and her, and her minutes? Yeah, I mean, you know, just to get her out there and get her going, I thought, you know, uh, she made some good decisions, made a couple, you know, trying to force some stuff a little bit. Uh, but it was just good to get her out there playing and get used to how we do things. Coach, now this is two wins in a row. You have a little bit of time before your next road trip. Just what have you liked from these back to back games? I mean, you know, uh, both ends of the court were good the last two games. I mean, we pushed the tempo, we've been that 
comes a little bit from the defense of getting out money. But we, you know, we've defended uh, off the scouting board, I would say, as well, taking away strengths from other teams. That's, you know, as we tell our team, it's kind of like, you know, good defense uh, against the great players in our league is just playing God. You know, they do something maybe six times out of ten well, and another thing four out of ten. So make them do the thing that they do four out of ten. You know, you're not going to stop great players completely, but that's what you, you know, you're trying to make them go to a second or third option from what they want to do. In pregame, I talked to Natasha Cloud. I can't say everything, but for the gist of it, she was she took it pretty personal. Could you see like a fire in her eye tonight after seeing that? Uh, that let's start. come up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think they all should take it personal. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's uh, you know you're, you're a pro player, and you have a lot of pride. You're leading the league in assists. You're one of the better defensive players in the year. Uh, I thought she got disrespected as a defensive player at the end of last season. So um, the chip gets a little bigger. And then kind of just you know. In the lead up to this road trip a little bit what's the focus for you right now it's, it's to get a little bit of rest i mean this is uh we've got several days before we play and then we're getting tomorrow off and uh friday will be more of a typical workout day so i think that uh, we can kind of get ourselves Whole again, physically and mentally, and just get some time to take a deep breath because we haven't had that for a while. So, right. Thank you, Coach. Is that it? Mario, we'll start with the obvious All Star. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All Star two years running now? Man, it's kind of surreal. It's kind of surreal. Just kind of like my weight comes into the league, me not really understanding what my position would be or how we get into the league. So now we all start. Um, it's crazy. Like I think we need to work to be able to do it with the organization like the Mystics and my teammates that I have, like, I can ask for a better situation. Sorry, what do you think of Ariel the all star over there? It's a um, <laughs> She puts in the work, you know, she's so humble. Um, to me, she's, you know, one of the best guards in our league. She, she goes out, she puts it consistently. You know, I feel like some guards go in, you know, everybody has their games, but consistently just puts down her, puts her head down and uh, puts the work in. And not just on the offensive end, but on the defensive end as well. Um, so, you know, I'm just thankful to bust a part of our team. Did, did it feel like Tosh was maybe playing with a little extra something tonight? Um, I feel like Tosh always plays with edge, you know. Yeah. Tosh always plays with that super on shoulder, and that's what makes her her. Um, she's um, she's like the engine of our team. She's the energy, um, and we you know kind of go as she goes as far as energy goes. How good did it feel to see shots finally go down tonight? I know it's been a consistent issue throughout the season. You guys, it feels good to see the ball go in and ask for um, just to see the ball go in and ask for that shot. Work. <laughs> all right, can I go back to my issue? I asked Ariel about being an all-star. Uh, can I let you brag on your teammate a little bit? What do you think? I mean, honestly, if we be a, like, for real, that ain't nothing. She's a gold medalist, like all star. That's like, it's like baby food. <laughs> it's like baby food to her. Like gold medalist. So, 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 so,
Bach. I think she deserves her recognition. Uh, she is the name of our state. Like, enjoy she goes to Japanese towards you. Uh, and then Avina got a little bit of playing time today. Have y'all gotten to work with her at all yet? Was it cool seeing her on the floor? She's great. She picked things up so quickly. Um, she feels, she looks comfortable. I hope, I mean, she looks comfortable out here. Um, so, you know, we just, when she hit that three year option, like what was seeing that like? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> good. It's good when you see your teammates, you know, hit threes. I mean, two of these back to back threes. The yeah. third one, she shot it. That looked. That's all we want people to do is shoot the ball around here. So, I mean, yeah, it feels good when you, when you see your teammate shooting the ball, first of all, and making it it's a nice moment to be. But, like, a couple weeks ago, I don't know if we even took that shot. Yeah, so just to see the progression, um, just so she can get more comfortable, too. Um, just let me know. I feel like we would, I don't even know if we would care to really measure. We would just have to shot it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then, it going in was just like over time. <laughs> Uh, so y'all had another good night defending Ryan Howard. Just what was the challenge like of facing her again and, you know, making sure that she doesn't see too many of the same things that you guys threw out her last time? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, Ryan is talented, and you have to make her uncomfortable. She's one of those people that can score quickly, so you can't let her get comfortable. Um, hats off to AC. Um, thank you for her, but I think it was everybody – you know, did the best that they could do, um, just making her comfortable. But AC is kind of our head, our state on the defensive end, and she's very adamant about coverages and different things like that. Um, so she started out on Ryan, and she did a phenomenal job. Um, just let the kids follow her lead and continue to try to make her comfortable out there. Why is Alicia the head of snakes? I feel like some people might say that about you. Why is she the head of snake on defense? Why do you say that? Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, in the scheme, well, and, like, what do you guys do? She's like, we're going to be together later. She's actually, like, 45. Um, she is an older player, so there's some things that she understands. She's been in the league, and there's no way, there's no way for me to say this. Um, just saying how it is, she has experience. And we've had a lot of experience. Um, so she understands things. And just the way her brain works, she understands things at a different level. Um, so for her ability to come to us and be like, this is where she scores best on the floor, and this is where she gets most of her shots, like that's the type of stuff that she has got me to kind of be more aware of. Um, yeah. Thanks. Hey, Shatura, we talk a lot about defense. And the game you had against Vegas, and then and tonight, what does that just say uh, about the team these last two games? Yeah, I mean, it's starting to become our identity. I feel like our, our offense goes with our defense goes, um, just being disruptive. And I thought our Vegas game was a was a great challenge for us because they're one of the best offensive teams in, in the league. And I thought we did a great job. Um, and you know, that's just something that we're just trying to build on day in and day out. Um, just continue to be on the street. And I know for me personally, coming off the bench. Um, that's something we try to carry off the bench as well. Give a different look um, going off the bench as far as just, you know, some disruption. And Ariel, um, we, we talk a lot about communication. Just wanted to get your thoughts on how you felt like communication was the past two games. I think it was a great great on our communication day. I think we started early and then consistently kept it up um, throughout the game. I'm really happy about the way that we anticipated today. Um, I think we threw a lot on the defense too. Ariel, when you came into this league, you were able to have an impact right away and find your role in this team. And we're now seeing Shakira Austin do a very similar thing coming into this role. Yeah, I know, I'm feeding <laughs> off what you told me, Mike. <laughs> what, um, what have you seen from her as a teammate and to be able to step into this role and thrive in nights like tonight and that we've seen throughout the season? I think the most exciting thing about Kira to me is she a little bit to learn. Like, that is exciting that you have a rookie that's coming in and just wants to soak it all up. She wants to be great. Um, the exciting part about her is that she's not a good player. Like, there is so much work that she can be better at. And she's still doing a phenomenal job, and she's only going to get better. Anything 
Zoom. We'll go to Zoom now. We'll start with Christos. Hey, ladies, congratulations on the winning of the performance as well. Ariel, on the occasion of your all star selection this season, do you feel that you're, you're playing some of, your of the best basketball of your career this season? Uh, that is my goal, to get better every year. Um, I do think I do a better job of not taking as many contested jumpers. That's just me, you know, myself. But I do think I'm getting better defensively. And, you know, as far as keeping my eyes open, finding the right pass or trying to find the right play. Thank you very much. And for you, Maisha, the last couple of games, like different ways that you found different ways to win. What does it mean the way that you respond after tough, uh, tough losses, tough, tough moments and struggles, and you bounce back with wins? What does it mean for you as a team? As a team, I mean, the game of basketball is not perfect. We're gonna lose some. We're gonna win some. So it's just how we respond to what we win or lose. Um, and I think recently we've been able to learn and take something from our games, our past games, and take it to the next one. Um, I think that's just where we're getting better at is right time to, to gel and play. So, uh, yeah, we just try to get better every single every single game. Thank you very much. Nathan. Hey, ladies, great win tonight. <clears throat> Ariel, congratulations on making the all-star team. Uh, this is a question for all three of you. Uh, when you got a couple of days before we go on the road to Connecticut, what do you guys do when you're not – in the gym, not watching film, not practicing. What do you like do to mentally unwind from basketball? I'm sorry, I mean, you I'm smiled, so like, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of <laughs> forgot because we used to play so much. <laughs> <laughs> so I might have to get back to you after tomorrow. <laughs> it's been like every other day. Uh, I mean, I just like, I know I've been trying to just take care of my body. Yeah. <laughs> and just thank you for another 24. I, just, <laughs> I like that. And um, I know I wanted to get your your reactions to BG, um, her detention now extended for another six months. Her trial date's Friday. I just want to get your thoughts and your reaction. How you feel to that, feel about that? And that'll conclude media for tonight. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.